Skag Windstorm here um, in a demo, courtesy of Chagrin Cotton Garden. So thank you to them for letting me uh, kind of borrow it, try it out, and uh, make a video on it for you guys. So yeah, we're going to get straight into this, and uh, here we go. All right, so the first thing I'm going to be talking about on this machine is kind of the blower assembly in the front, because, I mean, that's what makes it the windstorm is the blower in the front. So most of the blower is metal, so the intake screen, grill, whatever you want to call it here, that's metal. Um, in the skag, cat's eye gold. It's not orange, okay? It's cat's eye gold. Um, and then we have basically the like outside of the blower housing, which is all uh, metal, um, right around there. And then you have the only part of this that's actually plastic is the uh, kind of chute that brings it out to the front right here. Because you can see this sticks out into the front a little bit. And, uh, and then that's what your uh, 180 degree rotating nozzle is connected to. So um, this thing's made out of plastic, but it is sturdy. Like it's it's a it's a sturdy thing, um, and it's it, it just works. It's just a good setup here. Um, having the nozzle to the side like this, compared to like um, some of the other stand-up blowers where they have it at the bottom down there. So having the nozzle out to the side like this allows you to kind of like do different things in different scenarios. So like. Um, say if you're coming up to a tree, you can reach around that tree and blow everything around it so you don't leave this little spot of, um, you don't leave this little mess of leaves around the trees. You can get right up around them and clean them out. So that's a really nice thing about that. Um, so this chute uh, turns 180 degrees. I'll show that right now. So basically you have two levers up here. So one lever is just the manual, so it'll go as far as you push it. And uh, then this lever over here to the left is all the way to the left and all the way to the right. And then to control your up and down on this, it is just manually, it's this lever right here. But I mean, it's sufficient for what its job is. Uh, it's, it's almost better than having it like electric or anything because that would just add cost and complications to it and it's, it's really effortless. So. You don't need that. Um, so that is actually the feature to have it go up and down is really cool compared to some of the other sand on blowers. Um, that's one thing that sets this apart. This whole nozzle system, the nozzle directioning system um, on this kind of makes it like, it, stand, it makes it stand out from some of the other blowers. Alright guys, so this is one of the highlights of this machine is that it has the um, Vanguard 37 horsepower electronic fuel injected engine. This thing's a beast. I mean, this blower blowing like 7,000 CFM, it takes it takes a lot of power to run that. So having this massive engine here is honestly great. It's very powerful. Um, it doesn't seem to lose power. It's um, it's a little rough starting up, but then if it then once it's going, it's good. Um, then you can see you have the vertical muffler here. Um, this thing gets really hot, so you got to be careful. Like this will ignite leaves on fire if you get them on it so just be careful there overall it's manageable um, so over here you got the dipstick everything's really easy to get to um, and it's it's just a overall good designed engine it's trusted by uh, many manufacturers and everybody um, it's on a lot of Skag's other models so it's just a well-rounded engine and uh, you'll see it in a lot of places so that's good alright so moving up to the control panel here you can see it's it's literally the V-Ride too. Um, it's got the same, it's the same width, it's the same platform. Just a few different kind of controls here. Number one, it's, well, if you have a, um, what's it called? A carbureted uh, V-Ride engine, like the 23 and a half horsepower, it's not gonna have the check engine light. Um, this has no choke, cause it's fuel injected, um, but it's kind of similar to the new V-Ride, so it's got the uh, parking brake on the left here. Um, this says blower engagement instead of uh, deck engagement, so it's just a little different there. This one has the light kit, so you actually do have a uh, switch right here for that. Um, and then up front here, you can see um, you have the paddles that kind of move the, uh, um, what's it called, the nozzle down there. So basically it's meant to just have your hands like this, put, two fin or put a finger on each side of it, and you just kind of move them like that. So, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a good system. Um, only time that that kind of fails is uh, if you're turning and you're trying to move the thing at the same time because you might have your hands like back here trying to turn it. Um, so it's, I mean, it's difficult in that sense, but overall, I mean, it's really good design. Um, I, there's not, I mean, there's no other places you could really put these. This is the best spot for them. 
and when you're driving forward it's just it's very easy just to point that nozzle wherever um, this is one like change to the V-Ride. I mean overall this machine is basically a V-Ride with a blower on it but um, this is one change so you have the up and down lever over here so that's I mean it's your engine up and or not your engine up and down but your nozzle up and down so that's there and it's I mean it works just how it should it's a lever um, so you got your throttle it's got the tiger eye ignition and that's pretty much it you got the nice pad back here which I'll show in a second and yeah that's it for the control station all right, so now if you look down at the uh, platform, you can see it's it's the same as the VRI2. You've got the same kind of pad. It's a newer like edition of it, but it's got a nice pad on it. Um, battery to the left, fuel tank to the right. If you're staring directly, oh gosh, I almost tripped. If you're staring directly behind this, um, it's it you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between it and a V-Ride. Um, but it it drives extremely similar. Um, the one thing that it does do different is. Going downhill, it's a little more unstable because you have so much weight in the front of it. But um, it's, I mean, it's manageable. I mean, you're not going to be taking this on crazy slopes or anything. So, I mean, it, it, it doesn't really matter in that sense. Um, going down here to the tires, um, you have these extra grippy like tires. I don't know what you call them. They're a new style of tire. But um, they're just, I mean, they provide a lot of traction, especially for a machine like this, which is going over, like, different, like, terrain and everything. Um, it's got the same gas tank as the uh, V-Ride 2, um, which is, I think, 7 gallons or so, 7 or 5, I don't remember. It's one of the two. Got a fuel gauge up there, which always works. It makes this little rattling sound, but, um, anyway, let me get that to focus a little better. It makes that same rattling sound as all the other mowers. Um, but I mean it, it works and that's all it is it's just it's just a little like bobber inside of there just shaking around so that's what that sound is I know a lot of people kind of question that so you got your fuel um, cap there the same it's pretty standard as like on other mowers um, one thing I do want to say about this is the wheelbase is actually really short for a like stand-on machine like this um, and it's just I mean it's not bad but I mean it's just different to what you're used to you know um, the front wheels are actually a little wider than like a V-Ride or something like that because you have this whole blower, blower in the middle. Um, and I mean that wheelbase being so short is partly because if you look on the other kind of stand-on blowers you have their blower in the middle like behind the front wheels. This is just a different setup. I like that because you can, um, I, or well I like this setup because you can, I mean that nozzle wouldn't work any other way. So. Um, I mean, this is the best setup for this kind of machine. Um, as you can see on the front, there's a little more of that lever over there. That's the lever that makes it go up and down. You got the same kind of SCAG logo, big air filter. Um, here is the light kit for this. This does not come standard on it, but this is kind of like the standard SCAG light kit for most of their mowers. Um, it's very bright, so like it's not one of those chintzy little light kits or anything. It's a very nice, um, like. I mean, it'll illuminate an entire garage with just that one light. Um, but yeah, overall, that's pretty much it for the kind of V-Ride like surround, or not the V-Ride, the uh, Windstorm surroundings. Yeah, it just it looks so similar to it. Um, but that's pretty much it for the uh, Windstorm here. Um, I'm going to show you guys some of this in action right now. You'll see that right now.
So another great feature of the windstorm is that since that nozzle rotates 180 degrees, you can basically go right up to a tree and blow all the leaves forward like in the direction that you're going so that it clears out a little space in front of it. So then you can go in front of that tree blowing the leaves to the side and you have no leaves left around the tree, which helps a lot because if you're running solo with this, um, like normally you would be in a group, you would have people backpack blowing that stuff. But if you're solo, you can just do everything in one little like motion right there, and you don't have to do any cleanup work after, which is great.
the clips of the uh, windstorm here in action. As you can see, it's a beast, and uh, it does what it's designed to do, and it does it very quickly. Um, everything's well thought out on it. It's great. Um, building it on the same platform as the V-Ride 2 makes it very easy to understand for me, as I have a V-Ride 2. Um, and it's just, it's a well thought out machine and it's built by Skag, so you know it's got quality in mind. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and also a huge shout out goes out to Shrimp Pet and Garden um, for lending me this windstorm here for the last two days. Um, it's been a big help uh, with my uh, leaf cleanups and stuff and uh, let's see, I got it with about six hours on it and we're on 8.6. So we did it very, we did all of our jobs very quickly and it just, it was a great machine. So yeah, thank you to them. Um, I'll link their website and stuff down below. I'll put their phone number up on screen here. So yeah, just make sure to check them out. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.